Hey, this is Rusty Wallace from ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm here at the famed Infineon Raceway. Let's take a lap around this track. Off of turn 11, you're going to want to get a really nice run to the front straightaway. Keep the momentum going through these corners here, then dive it down to s turn 2. You're going to want to keep it down in second gear through this top corner here. And then you're going to want to clip the rumble strips just barely and get a really nice run off the corner. Turn 3 and 4 require a lot of momentum because these are really sweeping corners. Off of turn three and into turn four, clip the apron on the inside and then clip the rumble strip, excuse me, on the outside, then dive it down to the turn 4A. This was one of the three or four corners on this track where you could really make a lot of ground and a lot of passes. Coming to turn seven now, we skip that in inner loop area and we just go straight to turn seven where I've spun a bunch of times. It brings back a lot of good and bad memories. That, but that corner, however, leads down to the S's. The S's are some of my favorite parts of the track. They're the most difficult parts. But now you gotta you gotta run them nice and wide open as fast as you can so you can get a really good run out of turn 10 where you might be able to make a pass. But if you can't, don't fret, because turn 11, the biggest passing spot on the track is coming up. You're gonna want to get to 160, dive it down to about 40 miles an hour in first gear, pass that guy on the inside, get a nice run off the corner. Don't get loose down out of turn 11, that would just make the pass for nothing. Get a nice run down the front straightaway, and that's a lap at Infineon Raceway.